told that you look like a celebrity? Because if so, you might be sitting on a gold mine. Just look at this agency for lookalikes. Yeah, you can make bank if you happen to look like Marilyn Monroe or Elvis or Robert De Niro holding a cat. <laughs> yeah. Last night, I couldn't sleep, so I ordered a Bruno Mars and a Jennifer Coolidge. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes people try to tell me I'm famous. No, I am not famous. I'm just on television. There's a difference. No, 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 no. For real, fame is this. It's when other people can make money just because they have your nose. <laughs> famous is when your face creates jobs. <laughs> but what can you earn if you look like Timothy Chalamet? It turns out, 50 bucks. <laughs> yeah, this past weekend, there was a Chalamet lookalike contest held in Washington Square Park. <laughs> there they are. There they are. You know how a group of crows is called a murder? Well, fun fact, a group of Timothys is called a cabaret. <laughs> Not a lot of people know that. Hundreds of people showed up to watch, probably because they find the original Timothy Chalamet hot, which, yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't really get it. Do you like that on flights you can store him under the seat in front of you, or? I, no, it's, hey, everyone has their own preferences. Uh, dozens of contestants showed up to this event, and one was crowned a winner. The winner is... Wonka! It's truly amazing how many of that same guy was there. Like, who was working the register at all the Zaras in town? But everyone in attendance was a winner when the real Timothy Chalamet showed up. Yeah. Why does Timothy Chalamet always look like he wants to show me a trick on his bike? <laughs> crazy to show up to your own lookalike contest. <laughs> to be fair, I've done that too, but it wasn't a contest so much as it was just the state of Iowa. <laughs> I look like everyone there. I look like everyone there. I kind of get why Timothy showed up. It is weirdly hypnotic to see them all together. Oh, well, that, that photo's very creepy. That's, this is what HPV looks like under a microscope. <laughs> ended up being a very eventful gathering. Four people at the contest got taken away by police officers. Oh. Ah. I mean, what did he get booked for? Breaking and entering too many hearts? Oh. No. Don't clap for that. But seriously, how do you get arrested in a situation like this? You'd think the best time to commit a crime is when you're surrounded by your exact police lineup. <laughs> right? That's why I always rob people at Taylor Swift concerts. <laughs> oh, really? A white girl, five foot six, complaining about men robbed you? You're gonna have to be more specific. <laughs> Even the cops found it a little funny trying to get that mug shot. Like, okay, man, we got to take your picture. Can you remove your top hat? We know you're not six foot two. <laughs> not everyone came to win, at least not the 50 bucks. One girl showed up with a different prize in mind. Yes, a girl went around the contest handing out business cards that say, Summer, single 24-year-old woman, do you want to go on a date with me? I'm dead serious. Yeah. It's genius, honestly. This is a great system if your only requirement for a boyfriend is that he sort of looks like Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> well, hopefully she found her dream guy at this event, and if she didn't, she'll just have to start eating a lot of chocolate and pray she finds that golden ticket. <laughs> you guys are amazing. Are you ready to start the show?